What's up, people? Welcome to the Michael Beasley Show. Don't really know how to hold the microphone, so. <laughs> how I started? What's up? This is with our first guest, Troy Williams. We're going to get to know Troy a little bit. Let's get right into it. First question of the day, Troy. Why is that your name? It's what my mom named me. Did she tell you that? Yeah. A nickname came up. So I want you to tell us who Scotty Trippin is. I got the nickname Scotty Trippin from John Lucas, a uh, senior when I was working out with him in Houston since I was a sophomore. He always said I had similarities to Scotty Pippen, but I was never 100% Scotty Pippen. So John Lucas being who he was, he called me Scotty Trippin. Oh, so you Scotty Trippin. <laughs> Scotty Trippin. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so close to the camera. High flyer, athletic, I'm about the rim kind of guy. Who's your favorite dunker? Who influenced you? Nobody. I can't really say nobody. Ooh, wrong answer. Should have said Michael Beasley. <laughs> I didn't really have uh, watch a lot of basketball. I didn't have access to it growing up. So what I did was I was in my backyard, and I just keep trying to jump and touch the rim. Once I finally got to touch the rim, we had this big tree in the backyard. And there's this one branch that I can never get, so I always just keep, kept jumping until I was able to touch it. And I just kept building from there. You gave him the answer, and he still got it wrong. Do you remember in your basketball career, Ever. The first person you ever dunked on. Ninth grade, my Uncle Boo's Sportsplex. And I was new to, I was almost kind of new to the dunking thing. And I seen him underneath the rim, and I just jumped. And as I jumped, he jumped, body to body, and I dunked it. Who is your least favorite person on the team? Least favorite? I don't really have a, <laughs> I don't have a least my show, favorite. My Mine's Trey Burke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trey! What up, boy? Giving you shouts. All right, I got a good question for you. What are some of your interests off the court? <laughs> I like shopping. I like I like getting dressed up. I like clothes a lot, so I do that a lot. Hey, speaking of fashion, who's your influence? I can say that. Again, we were looking for Michael Beasley. We were looking for me. All right, Troy, why are you wearing number zero? Um, I figured it's a new start for me. Uh, just like start, I went undrafted, so I didn't have a number to get picked, and I just like it's a new beginning, and I wanted to make something new for myself. Zero is actually no beginning, so everybody know you are a high flyer, right? What else are you working on? Like, what are you gonna bring to the table for for us, the New York fans? Um, a lot of hustle, energy. Uh, as of what man, we want to hear about the buckets. <laughs> as of what, what step backs are you working on? Spin moves. I'm definitely working on the three ball. I, it, it's been off since I've been here, so I gotta been, I gotta work on that. Uh, just a lot of working on everything to get an all around game. What does it mean to you to be a Nick, man? Um, it feels good, you know. Uh, it feels like a tradition. But me being it, going to uh, Indiana University was a tradition. So me coming to New York and it, uh, learning a new tradition of how things go. And I mean, I'm from the East Coast. It's like you said, it's the mecca of basketball, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. I'm learning a lot, enjoying the people. I heard something about your tattoos. I don't really like them. Explain the elephant, the owl, and the lion. It stands for knowledge, wisdom, and power. And then I got the quote inside that I came up with myself to go along with the tag. Knowledge will give you power, but knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Okay, explain the pigeon on your left arm. You belong in New York. <laughs> pigeon, you see it right there? You got it right there. It belongs in New York. Hey man, this is, this is Michael Beasley. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. I'll see y'all next time.